this little girl is new to the space and she's new to me. And she's really sweet, very, very affectionate. This is the kind of little puppy that'll just steal your heart. <laughs> she's so cute. Yeah, you're very nice. You are. I'm going to become kind of boring to her now that we've said hello. higher social. I mean, she really wants to do something. She's kind of keeping herself busy, but I'm ignoring her. Uh, but she keeps coming back, and she comes back very eagerly, wanting to do something fun. So that's very cute. So uh, just make sure to do that crate training at night and through the day as well, to uh, and do it right from the beginning. So she knows she can't always be with you. That's very important. It's just going to be good for her and for you. Okay, we're going to start walking around doing a checking in game. And uh, what you want to do, I've explained this so many times, and I guess you've probably seen some of the videos, but uh, you basically want her coming and going. When you go into an environment, there's stuff to check out. You want her to be able to check things out, but you want to make sure that she's aware of where you are and that she's checking in regularly. You don't want her basically gone and ignoring you, right? And you having to chase after your dog, that's no fun. So if you play this game at home with her, she'll start getting familiar with what it is you want from her, and it'll be really, really fun for her as well. So let's get started. Okay. So what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm being kind of calm when I reward her because she's going to use her teeth out of excitement, and I don't want to draw that out of her. So it's starting this game, and until you really start, <laughs> just walk through it. <laughs> Until you really start getting her understanding about nipping and understanding about being responsive, just keep this game low key for now. And then when it all starts to come together, then you can have a lot of fun with this game. But we want to set her up for success. We don't want her coming to us and using her teeth because then we can't really play the game, right? So keep it low key. I'm going to start walking again. If you need to engage her to come to you, you can do that. She's got a really nice placement of markings in. Yeah. Very nice. So our goal is to make her feel like, oh, I'm with mom or I'm with dad. That's what we want out of her. We don't want her like, yeah, I'm with mom or dad. We want her calm in the beginning when you're playing this game. And then, uh, yeah, just build on it and have fun with it. Ooh, it's definitely a warm spot, but it's not. It's the sun? It must be the sun. <laughs> of wanting to go, not worried, but just wanting to go do her thing. So lacking a bit of patience and tolerance. Um, make sure you practice this exercise at home when she's little. So do what I did. You see that it probably took three or four seconds before she started moving her limbs. So just pick her up, put her down after two seconds, and give her a little food reward. Tell her she's a good girl. Practice it only once a day. And try to build on the time slowly so that you work your way up to about 20 seconds and she's really relaxed the whole time. Um, <laughs> and so if you do that, if you take the time to do that while she's young, it'll be a lot easier to trim her nails. And if you're not doing it, you know, consider your groomer 
consider your veterinarian, right? Because this exercise will help any professional that needs to handle your dog. All right. Really sweet, eh? Do you know their friend, um, 